Hey, what's up? I'm back again. Well, I'm kind of on a roll now making videos, even though I'm sleepy. Um, yesterday was 9-11, so for obvious reasons, with it being a Sunday, I couldn't make a video on the actual 9-11, but I'm still wearing my patriotic shirt. And what I would like to talk about in this video, first of all, I'd like to say how depressing it is that September 11th is now 21 years ago. Okay, it happened in 2001, and we're 22. So, yeah, basically, if you even existed on the day that the world stopped turning, okay, if you even existed on 9-11 whatsoever, you are over 21, okay? You could buy alcohol. And if you remember 9-11, meaning you were probably three and up, um, you're over 24, so you're well into your 20s. Um, so yeah, basically it's been 21 years and you know, life is just so depressing. It's just so depressing. Um, and that's why I'm not exactly sure, you know, I, I just don't, I don't really have this desire to live to be extremely old, you know, like the queen, 96, I don't necessarily, you know, I just don't quite understand people, um, you know, like my dad and all, you know, like trying to do everything in his power to, um, you know, this ridiculous diet that's totally annoying the hell out of me. Um, it's like, what for? You know, I mean, if I live into my 50s or 60s, um, what do I care about living extremely old? I mean, you know, what would be the point? Um I mean, yes, I want to live, I want to be healthy, you know, I don't want to kill myself or anything like that. But um, when I think about it, I mean, life just becomes ever more depressing every year. It's like, I look back on the things that I remember so vividly, and it's like, wow, was that 20 years ago already? Oh my gosh. Um, the first car I ever drove, which my mom still has, is 20 years old now. And right now, I don't have any car. It's in the shop because the air conditioner went out on it. Um, it's not as old as my mom's car, but um, it's getting up there. And so I'm basically on foot if I want to go anywhere. But of course, I'm too sleepy, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stay in. And, um, you know, other than to just do the things I do, I'm just not sure, you know, I mean... When you look back and realize, you know, just how many years ago your favorite events really happened and you realize just how old you are, I mean, life becomes absolutely depressing. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, I mean, no, I'm not going to put myself on some kind of a diet in pursuit of living to be as old as possible. Um, I mean, sure, I want to live and be healthy as long as I can be. But, you know, my goal is not to live to be extremely old. But anyway, um, so I talked about the moon and the planets enough in my other videos. But what I'd like to talk about in this video, um, well, I don't know. It's like I don't really have a lot of good subjects to talk about. And that's always been my problem my whole life. You know, I feel like my limited experience in life you know, and some of that is my parents' fault for not taking me anywhere and not doing anything. Um, I've never even left the central time zone. Um, but I just have so little experience in life, you know. I just have so little going on in my life. And this has always been the case for me. That I have one or a few obsessions that just dominate my thoughts. You know, I either have just one main obsession or I kind of bounce back and forth when I'm kind of in limbo in between obsessions. And another one might take over as the dominant obsession as the other one fades away. And so, you know, my whole life has been like that. Um, and I just keep talking about the same things over and over. And that's why I need to either get some more topics to talk about or stop making videos. And eventually I may have to once I move to the new house and my dad finally retires, if he ever does. Okay? 
And what I like to talk about in this video, um, I could go on a rant about Peppa Pig and yet another example of two lesbian moms. But since I really had no interest in that show and wouldn't have even known about it had I not watched Matt Walsh, um, I don't really care about that subject because I never cared about Peppa Pig in the first place. I never was into personification. But, you know, it's that same thing over and over again. You know, two moms raising kids, and it's ridiculous. Um, it's like saying that men aren't really necessary to raise kids as long as you get the money from somewhere. Um, it, it's just really, it's infuriating, the whole subject. One thing I'd like to talk about um, is how, um, you know, just more about the whole trans thing and how infuriating it is about, you know, people think that, um, that the world just needs to catch up to the idea that men can be women and vice versa. It's just infuriating every day. I mean, th there's just no way you could ever present it to me that wouldn't just anger me to no end because I will never support that. Okay. I will support anyone who disagrees with that to some extent you know i may not agree with everything that they say um but i will support the the most far-right candidate that wants to just strip women of their reproductive freedom or whatnot you know since i don't have a uterus anymore um i will support anyone who disagrees with trans ideology because i don't agree with it um, and I'd like to talk, you know, as I stated before, real briefly about how I just, you know, I cannot for the life of me see how incontinence, even a mild form of it, would be an improvement over functioning female genitals that you're born with. You know what I'm saying? Because the whole reason I ever wanted to be a man in the first place was to avoid that very thing, you know, to avoid pregnancy, which can lead to incontinence, okay? And a lot of people that get phalloplasty and other surgeries end up with at least a mild form of incontinence, and that just would never be okay with me. Um, so, you know, you're not going to convince me. There's no argument you could ever present to me, and I would say, oh, yeah, a man really can become a woman, let's let men use the women's bathroom and play women's sports. Well, no, I'm never going to agree to that. And I don't agree to vice versa either. Um, I'll never agree that, you know, I really could be a man in a woman's body just because I have a preference for less than feminine things. Um, I never will. You know, you'll never convince me that trans ideology is right or good or wholesome in any way. You know, and that's why I turn off comments any video that becomes controversial. And it's just like the other things that I make videos about. You know, I'm at an age, I'm pushing 40. Um, I'm not young and impressionable. And when I am against something and my parents agree with me, you see, with the trans thing, um, my parents, well, I mean, they're the reason I believe like I do about that subject. You know, they are against it. You know, they will not call me their son, and they do not even want to hear about other people being trans. Like, they think they're basically the dregs of society. Like, I'm not even permitted to discuss with my parents the existence of trans people, let alone entertain any thought that I could be anything but a female, you know? And so, because they are the ones, you know, that even taught me to believe that way in the first place, um... You know, basically my mom would yell at the TV whenever trans people would be on these talk shows and she'd be wanting to turn it off or change the channel. Um, so I will never be cool with that, so to speak. And I have no reason to, no incentive, you know what I'm saying? Other than, you know, this crap about wanting to ban people from social media, I have no incentive to change how I feel about that. And the same thing with the other subject matter, which in that case, you know, it's not my parents making me believe that way. It's, it's me, okay? And it's just, it's just a strange thing. You know, just a funny thing happens as you get closer to 40 and then you exceed that age is you just stop being confused about things. You know, it's harder to sway your beliefs on a subject. You know what I'm saying? It's like you become set in your ways. You know, if you don't like a certain type of music, well, there is no one who can ever convince you to like it. 
you know, once you get past 30, certainly past 40. You know, if, if you've never liked rap music, aka crap music, you're just never going to like it. Um, and the same thing with sports. You know, I've never had an interest in sports. And, you know, especially in playing them. And so I'm just not going to develop or cultivate an interest now that, you know, women's sports are becoming unfair. You know, I never cared about them to begin with, and I'm glad I didn't. But now that, you know, there's that level of stupidity involved with them, it's like I'm really not interested in them. Um, now that they've become politicized crap, you know, basically they're not even worth watching or even thinking about. Um, certainly women's sports, they're just not respectable anymore. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm never going to change how I think about that, among other things, you know, and I'm getting sleepy, so I may as well just post this video.